What is going on guys? We're back with some more Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle videos and we're going to be talking about Super Saiyan 3 Broly and why he has yet to be released. Now, we know that he was supposed to drop after Super Saiyan 3 Physical Go Tanks, but they skipped to Ultra Instinct Goku and then they skipped to STR Ultimate Gohan and now it looks like we're going to be getting Revive, well the Revive category leader being uh, Angel Golden Frieza. So, he is now, what is that, 3 Dokken Fest banners behind where he should have initially been and that does... It's kind of like why because he is the last 120 leader that needs to be released and I actually have the mind on JP I have him at 100% and He right out like Okay, he doesn't become good out of the oven You need to really invest into him to make him become good like for example mine is 100% I have him on a new villain team with the new uh, STR super, uh, STR Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. He is good He is very good, but he only gets good in a very niche situation, being 100%, being linked with Black, because Black does give a defensive buff to uh, his allies. So, with those elements in play, he gets very good, but obviously, you might not have no copies 100% him, you might not even care 100% him, you might not eventually pull the STR uh, Goku Black. So, there are situations where I can see him remaining bad. So, people are saying that he's getting pushed back to get a buff, but I don't believe that. We've seen units push back, we've seen banners push back, and that doesn't mean that they've ever gotten a buff. Like, for example, we've had STR Cell push back, and the big thing back then is that, is that oh, he's getting a buff, he's getting a buff, he's getting a buff, he's getting a buff. The unit dropped, and there was no buff. He didn't really need it. He was actually pretty good. Uh, he could have benefited from maybe a defense improvement from, in his past. Like, for example, they gave him 50% defense with the 100 with the 100%. I feel like that would have been so appropriate. Uh, he didn't get that, but he's still pretty good. He does have the Kaioken mechanic with attack and defense, raising every single super attack. He has immense damage. He has 100% attack up on the passive, so he's still a very good card. But them pushing back banners doesn't mean the unit getting a buff. I have no idea why they do it. Uh, it could literally be because Global wants to be individual. Global wants to separate themselves from JP. That could be the case. Like They could literally have banners out of order to just separate themselves from the JP version Dokken Battle. That could be the case. Uh, I don't think he's licensing issues. I really don't think so. Uh, we have Super Saiyan 3 Broly. He was introduced in the West Side of the World with the game Raging Blast. So he has been introduced in the West before. So it's not like a whole new character that's never been seen. Well, you know, if you don't factor in the internet that he's never been seen before. Um, so he does exist in some capacity. So I don't see what the issue was would be in terms of licensing because he does exist once again. So the only issue I would see is that maybe they're... Uh, buffing the banner itself because the unit might not change but the banners definitely can so then pushing him back and units getting released they could potentially drop him to Dokken Fest later but have for example ultimate Gohan on his banner they could have Super Saiyan 3 physical Gotenks on the banner they could take a banner that was not that hype not that enjoyable and buff it uh, I think what global does with these banners is that they look at the sales you know on JP of course and uh, they take into account, okay, this didn't do too well, this didn't do too well, this didn't do, do too well. Let's actually buff, let's actually incentivize uh, players to summon due to uh, having units change. So I feel like that was a very good play that they did for the uh, STR Janimba Bonnet because the Janimba Bonnet having Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was a definitely a good value. Gogeta Bonnet definitely got nerfed a little bit, but we've seen them in the past chain banners to where they made it better. Uh, and we've seen him chain bonds to where they made it worse. So this isn't a guarantee that they'll buff the bond to where it is like full of god leads and category units. Like they could leave the bond exactly how it is, but due to their track record, most likely the banner will change and most likely we'll see, you know, some appropriate changes, you know, some better chain of light. They could make it a Super Saiyan 3 centric banner. Uh, they could make it, um, instead of having a, like on JP, it was a tech banner. It had all tech units, I believe. They could make it to where Super Saiyan uh, 3 physical Gotenks is on there. The AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, they could do things to make the banner interesting. So I feel like the delay is more so a chain of banner. But then again, I don't think it'll take them that long to change banners. I mean, like, do they really need to push a banner back 3, 4, Doken Fest to change it? I don't know, man. We don't know what the actual reason is, but I just think they're going to change the banner somewhat. So we can expect new units to be on there. Uh, as to who, I would like to see Super Saiyan 3 physical tanks on the banner. Um, but beyond that, I have no idea who I would speculate. I mean, maybe the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku because he does get Extreme Z Awakening. He does get quite good. So maybe Bandai would give us an opportunity to pull him in, uh, before actually dropping the Extreme Z Awakening on the Broly banner. That could be the case. But in terms of an actual buff, he would benefit from it. 
but I don't think he will get it. Uh, his nuking defense is trash, but I don't think Bandai cares. So I think he'll be exactly how it is on JP coming to global. I don't think they'll change him. But once again, he does get good with some dupe system investments with STR rules linking up with him. Uh, he, like, he's a unit they have to work with, okay? He can nuke, but you don't have to give him 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 orbs. You don't have to do that. Like, you know, you can give him 2, 3, 4. He'll still have a pretty high attack stat, and his defense doesn't go to nothing. Like, you know, you need to manage him, okay? Uh, if you want to do all-out damage to change the whole entire field, then sure, go ahead. But just know he's going to take, like, 50k damage per hit. And you're going to take, like, 200k damage per super attack. So just keep that in mind if you're going to actually nuke with him. But for the most part, you can manage him to where the defense isn't that big of a deal. Like, you know, with my bro there, though, he 100%. I give him 4, 5, 6 orbs. Uh, any more above that, then he gets to, like, 20k defense under that. And that's where he's going to take a lot of damage. So if you manage him, he actually is pretty decent. Uh, pretty good actually but uh i am speculating that we're gonna get the banner after golden frieza uh angel golden frieza that is uh when he drops i have no idea but i feel like you know man, two two and a half weeks after him we should get super saiyan 3 broly um and uh then we can see what the banner looks like at that point because i feel like they're gonna have to change that at this point because the relevance of the banner on jp is not the relevance on the banner you know, on global, in terms of, uh, of a time slot, uh, we have new units being released, we have new cars being introduced, so the units on the Broly banner on JP are kind of getting outdated as the meta goes on, so I feel like they would have to buff the banner at the very least, uh, if you give the very same banner, then I would kind of honestly say skip, because no, it's just not even worth it, but let's see what they do, uh, this could actually change the events of the STR Super Saiyan Rule Goku Black banner on Global, because that banner has Super Saiyan 3 Broly, but the more they push him back, the more unlikely he'll be on that banner, so, I mean, we, we don't know, man, Global, freaking Global, bro, like, they change things up, which I guess could be for the better, you know, a little bit of change isn't a bad thing, but it does leave us unsure as to what to summon on. It does leave us, you know, questioning certain things. So, uh, but we should get an answer within the next coming weeks, you know, after Golden Freezer drops. So hopefully they do drop him then. And if they do, then, you know, we'll see what's up. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, like, share, comment down below. If you're not subscribed, make it a thing. Sub to the boy. And I'll see you next time.